di aprire il collegamento con Zurigo dove dovrebbe esserci per noi Lars con parte del suo team. Ok, Lars, can you hear us? Hello. I can hear Hi you. There. Hello Italy. Hi. Hi from Zurich. Hey. Hi Lars. Hey. Hi everybody. How are you doing? Very Italy. good, thank you. Thanks Great. for inviting us. I don't know Where if you can we? see Where us. We, we are first. quite uh, a few people here waiting to have the chance to hear from your voice what is uh, basically WAVE. I mean, we know what it is, but we like to have the pleasure to hear from the co-founder of this product some more hints and some more ideas of how it is, how it's going to change maybe our working life. <laughs> okay. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Now, do you guys see our screen? Because we don't see it on their video. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, you are, you seeing, are you seeing us? Are you seeing us or yes. our screen? We see you, not okay. very definite, but we see you, yeah. <laughs> I like it that way. Um, but can you, can you see, um, I'm projecting some slides for you. They can see that? Yes, we do. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, excellent. So, Google Wave, um, we, um, we're going to do a really quick overview here. If you get a chance, go and watch our enormously long video on YouTube. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. Uh, it's the longest video ever actually watched on the internet. Very entertaining. It's about Google Wave, which was built uh, down in Sydney, Australia. It's a new communications tool, and I'll show you if I get my network to work here. Um, we're, we're thinking how email might look if it was invented today. So it was invented more than 40 years ago when computers looked a bit like cockpits in old airplanes and when networks barely existed. And you can see here a, a small selection of all the many communications tools that has been invented since then that led us, that inspired us to build Google Wave. So very, very briefly, um, email, which we're used to, has a basic metaphor similar to paper mail, where you, you write an individual message and you send it to individual um, recipients. In, in Wave instead, we have a single shared object, which we call a Wave, I'll show you in a second, where several users can manipulate, participate in the same Wave at the same time. I want to really quickly just remind everyone that Wave, I'm going to demonstrate for you a product um, which is also a platform for other people to build collaborative applications. Um, but probably just as importantly, I won't have time to demo this, Wave is also um, a protocol. We are actively out um, encouraging other organizations to build their own Wave servers in a way that will interoperate with Google so, so that hopefully in the future there will be many, many different wave providers, just like there is with email today. Let me show you um, super quickly a demonstration here. I hope you can see my screen. I'm going to start a new wave. And I will type my title in the first line here, demoing to Italy. As you can see, my spelling is notoriously terrible. Hey, Steph. Finally, I get a chance to demonstrate to Italy. But we only have 15 minutes. We normally need an hour. What to do, best Lars? So I've written this wave here, and I'm going to add Stephanie, who is sitting here on my left, to that wave. And we'll imagine that Stephanie is not online right now. And when in a little while she comes online, she logs into wave and this wave here, this message is waiting for her in her account. Now let's imagine that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go offline in the interim. And now Stephanie, you can't see her screen, but when she comes online, she's going to add one more message. Hey Lars, why aren't we in Milan? I'd rather do this in person. Uh, so right she is. So a little while later, I come back online. And now, because Stephanie added a message, that wave is now bold. And you can see here that she added a message. And I can come in and see her excellent question. Oops. Excellent question. 
let's jump on a plane. Now, you can't see this, but because Stephanie happens to be still online, she can actually see live what I'm typing. And she's going to come in and add another one now. Here goes. Yeah, so now you can see on my screen, just because we both happen to be online at the same time, now I can see live what Stephanie is typing. And so what we're illustrating here is that in Wave, you don't have to pick different tools based on whether you're doing email type conversation or instant messaging type conversations. And you'll, you'll notice here that I'm actually seeing character by character what Stephanie is typing. We do this because it, it speeds up the conversation. In general, you can predict what I'm going to say long before I'm done with all the words in a sentence, and it makes it a lot faster when we actually show it while the person is typing. And the next thing we want to show you is that you can add a message anywhere in a way. You don't have to always add it at the bottom. So Stephanie is going to make a reply actually inside one of my messages up there at top. You'll see we call this an inline reply, and it lets you it lets you have multiple multiple conversations inside a wave at the same time. She has a great idea to just talk four times as fast, and I'll say, but but I will stumble on all the words like this. And so then we can continue this thread inside the wave. Now I want to show you, we let in wave, unlike in email, we let you go back and edit a message long after you're done writing it, which is really useful when you change your mind or you make spelling errors. But we also let people edit each other's messages, which has a very nice effect that we can collaborate on a piece of content. Let me close that first. Now we're all going to go and hide that little piece of, of, of conversation we did in there. And then Stephanie and Vadim, who is sitting on my right here, is going to go and help me actually write a little demo script inside this message. I'm going to first add Vadim like this. And then when he gets it, he's going to come edit it with us. But you can already see that we're editing right here, have conversation. Chat a bit like this. Did you get, did you get the word? So you'll see that the three of us are editing this, this content together. And we can see character by character what the other people are typing. At first, it can be a little chaotic. But once you get used to it, um, it's remarkable how much faster you can put together a piece of content. We use this all the time for blog posts um, and whatever we're working on. So here we are working together on a script. And it says, let's see, uh, create demo script. The next thing on the script is I am supposed to show you playback. So I'm going to let Vadim and Stephanie continue writing the script here. And then meanwhile, I'm going to show you how you can hit this playback button here. And it shows you how to play back the way it's step by step. So you see how I started it with this panicky message here. Then I added Stephanie. She made this remark, this remark, this remark. Then we started a little inline discussion here. And then you can see how we started the edit like this. And we actually keep track of, we haven't built this feature yet. We actually keep track of exactly who said what character inside that message as well. So I'm going to get out of playback. I'll go read the script here. Um, photos is next. I want to show you how to, how to share photos in a way. So I have some completely unrelated photos sitting around here. I'm going to make a new, new message. And then I'll drag these photos that are just sitting on my desktop. And I'm going to drag them into this open message here. And you'll see that automatically we create thumbnails and upload them to the server. And Stephanie is actually already looking at them on her screen. You can't see that. She's going to start. Uh, she's going to do the same thing over on hers. Her machine. Yep, I'm dropping them now. She's dropping them now. I think we might have actually lost our network here. But as soon as the network comes back, her images are going to show up. Here we go. Her images are going to show up very fast over on my end. So the reason, the way we do it this fast is that we actually create the thumbnails on Stephanie's machine and send them over to my machine as soon as the network can carry it, which is not very fast right now. But they'll show up in a little bit. There they are. Now, I want to show you that because there are images in this wave, I get, to, I get to view the images as a slideshow. And you'll see here that there's both my images from a boat trip here and Stephanie's images from a ski trip. And so just like we could collaborate before on a, um, on a piece of text in real time, we can also use a wave to collaborate on, um, in this case, a photo album, a slideshow, 
And in fact, as we'll show you in a second, you can collaborate on pretty much anything because we let third-party developers extend Wave in various ways. Let me go back and look at the script here. Let's show um, APIs a little bit. My Wave a little bigger so that hopefully you can see what I'm typing here. And I'll type, can I have some in soup? It has been too long. Okay, and now I'm losing my network again, it looks like. We don't have a wired connection here. I'm on a wireless. You don't see anything in this office. Lovely. Okay, so you'll have to you'll have to wait a little bit. What was supposed to happen here is that we have a robot on waves that are really good at spell checking. Maybe we'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you this. I'll try to show you a, a different um, a different extension meanwhile. Mm -hmm. That lets me play Sudoku. So this is an application that was built by an Israeli company called Lab Pixies. I'll just start a fresh wave here. And I will type my title here, and I'll add, um, I'll add a Sudoku game. So I don't know if you can see this over the video conferencing, but there's a set of buttons here that have actually been added by extensions. So pieces of programs that other organizations have written that I've installed into my clients. I'll try and see if I can load this Sudoku game here. Yep, there it goes over the network. And I'll add Stephanie and Vadim again to this game like this. If you if you know Sudoku, normally um, you play this game uh, again, uh, alone against the clock. And there was actually an existing gadget that this Israeli company has built, had built, but by integrating it into Wave, putting it on top of the collaborated platform of Wave, it was very easy for them to make this, uh, well, it was intended to be a collaborated game, but somehow it became competitive. So you can see I'm yellow here. And Stephanie is uh, one of the other colors, and she's running around um, competing with me to put in, uh, to fill in these squares here. I highly recommend trying this game. It's ridiculously addictive, except, of course, if you have any work to get done. Uh, because once you start this, it's all over with work. Especially if you're not Vadim. Yeah, Vadim, you're, uh, you're guessing really all wrong. Fast. So you get, <laughs> Vadim is getting, getting a lot of negatives you, here. Let you win. Yes, you're supposed to let me win. Okay, I want to show you um, another extension as well. Um, actually, if you back here, there's a page um, that I recommend you go look at, which is called Google Wave Featured Extensions. And so it's a page where we 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 highlight some of the things that third parties have built that extends Google Wave. So here's the Lab Pixies. Um, Sudoku game, there's a little video demonstrating each one. You don't need to be inside a wave to see these videos here. There's a gadget that lets you make um, conference telephone calls with all the other participants in a wave. There is one here from an, another Israeli company that lets you do video conferencing. We've built ourselves a map gadget so that you can add a map to a wave, a little gadget that lets you add a, a weather forecast, which is very useful when you're planning an outing in wave. Um, we have one here from Lonely Planet where you can collaborate to put together an itinerary for a trip using Lonely Planet um, content. I want to show you down here at the bottom a couple of really meaty projects that are starting to be built on top of Wave. These are all from, um, from third party companies. One is from the big um, enterprise software house SAP. One is from Salesforce.com. And one is from an organization called MediaWiki. They write the software behind Wikipedia. I'll just show you one of them. This is a seven minute video. I encourage you to go watch if you have a, a chance. It's something I thought I would never see. It's a business process modeling tool that's sexy. So this is again built by SAP. They show this demo here how an insurance company and a bank have, uh, have merged and they now need to go in uh, and um, and build a business process together. And so you'll see, let me just actually rewind a little bit. You'll see that they start inside Wave and then SAP has built this gadget similar to the Sudoku gadget where um, the employees of these two merged companies can collaborate in real time on, on putting together a business process for their joint customers. And so if you watch the whole video, you'll see that several people are putting this together Simultaneously, halfway through the process, they add another person who can catch up by playing back the wave. In the end, they add a manager who can check the progress actually from an iPhone 
through Wave. And then in the end, they add a, a robot, which is um, another type of extension, an, an automated participant that goes and checks all of the semantics of this process they put together. Then finally, you get with this extension, export the work, export the work into a big SAP software package where you can turn this graph they're building together here into an actual website where the bank can interact with their customers. And then they even have another gadget where the authors of the graph here can monitor the workings of the website in real time and go make adjustments. And so these, uh, this again is a prototype um, that SAP has started running pilots with. We think this type of application um, could have Wave have a really big impact in enterprises. Um, but um, but this and so this is an enterprise example. But as you can see with Wave, you can you can write things ranging from games through maps through really important um, work scenarios. We've had a good deal of interest from advertisers wanting to build interactive and collaborative advertisement gadgets inside of Wave. Maybe the last thing to share with the public. Yes. Just uh, at the very end, I want to share you something. Um, we, um, as you probably know, Wave is a very young product, and we have only just started previewing it with the public. We have a few hundred thousand active users now, and so um, sometimes we have people be quite lonely inside Wave because they don't they don't have a lot of friends with Wave accounts, and so we made it possible to make Wave public. Public. So once you make a Wave, you can tell. You can tell us to give absolutely every Wave user in the world access to your Wave. Um, and we did this mostly so that people could find each other. But it turns out, actually, that people have a lot of fun just having public conversations inside Wave. And so what you're seeing now is public Waves just um, scrolling by as they happen. Um, and in, in the beginning, of course, people were having discussions with everyone about Wave itself. But increasingly, people are um, are talking about whatever is on their mind. We enjoyed a lot looking at this live search here over these public waves when um, Barack Obama won his Nobel Peace Prize. Um, almost immediately, a wave appeared right here where, where several of our users started furiously debating what had just happened. And so this was a bit of a surprise for us. It's, it's quite a lot of anarchy right now. Anyone can do anything in a wave, and we hadn't quite anticipated it was going to be quite so useful. And so I think we'll we'll put more time into making uh, making public waves more prominent in wave. Okay, so I think that's all the time we have for uh, the demo. We've just shown you little bits and pieces of wave. If you haven't had a chance and you have an hour to spare, um, do go to wave.google.com. There's a much, much longer demonstration there that gives you a better uh, better view of what WAVE is all about. And maybe maybe we'll stop here and take questions. Okay, so I think that's all the time. I'm having...